Welcome everybody to this week's at Swarf and Chip, sponsored by Interco. This is going to be a great show because there is that much equipment here that there's very few of around the world. So it's a yeah. really unique place, isn't it, reacting fire suppression? Yep, we've got in what is a relatively modest building, we have some pretty advanced bits of equipment. It's there. going to be awesome. Let's take a look. This is Ed, by the way. Um, he's the craziest character I think I've met uh, since being at MTD. Is that a compliment? Yeah, it is, right. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's kind of a compliment. Right, okay, so before we see some yeah. amazing equipment, in fact, there's some a CMM in there that's like a four-in-one, is that right? Yeah, it's uh, Batavision's four-in-one CMM. So, yeah, yeah. Um, but we're going to talk about that in a moment. These are some of the parts that you're making. Tell us about yeah. the company. So. What we primarily make is automatic fire suppression equipment for critical assets. So a good example of that is buses. We do a lot of uh, automatic bus fire suppression systems, plant, fire protection systems for CNC machines like you've seen today. Um, so a huge amount of what we do um, or what we build around is like a common component and then we adapt various different components to the different applications they go on. So. We designed, or most of the components you're seeing and holding, were all designed to fit on a sliding head machine. You know, right. some advice we got very early on yeah. in terms of keeping, obviously, production I mean. costs relatively low and a precision relatively high. So there's various different components you see on the table. All of those components, plus about another 50, 60 components, are all machined on the star machines here. It's honestly, I think what's interesting is how big this company is globally. Yeah from here, um, it's incredible. And you've taken yeah. everything in-house as well, Hal, haven't we you? We have, yeah, and I think, uh, I think as, we, as we see the vision, is in order to uh, really meet the culture we put through the business, we have to keep the quality where we want it to be. Yeah. These parts, compared to competitor parts, are tolerance very tightly, they're, they're incredibly high performance for the size that they are. You know, often you'd see an equivalent from our style of competitors that could be twice, three times the size, mm. the components. So we did cram a lot in. There's yeah. some complex features in the parts. But what it does is it gives us a huge range of options on the parts yes. um, from a relatively small package. And control. Right, yep. okay, let's go into the CMM room. There's a lot of equipment to show you. And um, Ed can talk. He's a very good talker. I'm going to talk about CMMs. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right, okay. Um, now, you might have eagle-eyed amongst you, uh, might have seen a part in there that was laser etched, but there was something unique about it. There was colour on it. How on earth yeah. does that happen? Come on, come so here. So, spoke to, spoke to these guys, Lotus Laser Systems. They're actually only based 20 minutes from us here. Um, again, I'm a big supplier. Um, big supplier champion and I gauge mm -hmm. people very quickly on the phone whether it's a so I'll take your number and someone may or may not call you back yeah. the guys that I spoke to immediately yeah. uh, local guys got on well with them told them what we wanted to do sent them some pictures on whatsapp just to mm -hmm. say this is what we need to do and he said have you ever thought about colour and I thought no but mm -hmm. talk to me Sounds I've never good. seen it no. yeah 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 never um, seen it. and uh, demoed it came down took a couple of parts brought the sample back and then the Meta C laser that we've got here mm -hmm. will do an array of colours. Um, it's a 60 watt laser, but again, it's a brand new bit of equipment. It allows us to laser etch our parts. That's important for us because, again, it gives that quality finish and yeah. quality appeal. But also, it's good for like batch and serialisation tracing. So yes. we know all of our products. Traceability. Again, traceability. All our products we make and machine are all traceable. All the cylinders are traceable. So, mm. but it, it, it just helps also training because people know the part they've got in their hand because mm. it's got a part number on it. Honestly, so this like, company, I love some of your worth ethics as well because yeah. um, Ed will say like, what is it you said about the fact that you want to invest in the latest equipment, yep. you want to um, create autonomy. Yeah. Like what are some of the basics of like why you're running this company? Because I tell you what, They've got some of the newest, latest equipment in here, yeah. brand spanking new. Anyone, you know, starting out in industry would love to work here. Yeah. And I think the thing for us is everything's tailored around sliding head machines. Yeah. So we don't need a big CMM because our parts are small. So, you know, some of the, like, for example, behind us, the XT3030 really cool. um, four in one, like sort of CMM 
I'm sure there's a really good name for it that I can't remember. Don't worry. But um, <laughs> effectively, what it gives us the ability to do is it, it's a microscope, it's a camera system, it's, it's a shadow graph, and it's obviously got probing based as well. Mm. So what it enables John in the machine shop to do is stick five, six parts on the table, go away, come back, the machine's measured all six parts, and he's got a report. Yeah. One of the best things about it is we're designing SolidWorks yeah. in 3D, and un instead of going to 2D for measurement, yeah. um, everything here is 3D. So yeah. the everything. 3D models come across to here. Um, also allows us to do retrospective measurement on different parts, reverse mm. engineering. We can build, this can take a part that's 3D and make a 3D model from its measurements, you know, and it's, it's what I would describe it as is a very user friendly system. Mm. Again, trying to get more people, younger people into engineering. Oh, yeah. It's just, you know, it's trying to keep it. But for me, it's an incredible bit of kit this is when you yeah. see it working. Um, so, yeah, it's um, a brilliant investment. You've only had like the stars, for example. Yeah. It's about six, seven months now, isn't it? So it's not a long time. Well, we've had we've been operational. We started, I think the first machine was delivered at star in November. Okay, yes. They did the turnkey on the 38. We've only been fully operational with both machines for eight weeks today. Wow. So it's been a really rapid journey. One yeah. of the things when I was obviously buying the machines that yeah. quickly came up during the conversations was, <laughs> you're going to make these parts, but are you going to measure it? And I was like, well, that's a good question. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so again, part of the consultative process with Star was to um, advise us on what kind of measuring equipment we'd need. They've helped you with a lot of this, yeah, haven't they? they? Have, yeah. And I mean, we've actually... We could have got away with a lot, lot less in the measuring side of things. Mm. But one of the issues we've had with quality of the parts is the ability, we've not had the ability to measure them properly. But mm. again, we've now got everything in here. You know, the guys will put a surface finish on a drawing and then they'll go, this is the surface finish it needs to be. They've never had a surface finish tester. Now they've got a surface finish tester. It's all in one. Yep. It's all in house. So everything's all in house. Um, and the metrology lab, I think we're aiming to get UCAS yeah. approval by the end of the year. Ah, so, is that where you want to? Um, let's go back into the machine yeah. shop. Is that what you said it might be um, like apprentices? That's where you yeah, want to apprenticeships? Yeah, 100%. And as a, for some of the work that we do, it's really critical that we can have kind of a self-managing approach to metrology because yeah. a lot of the contracts require that standard of measurement. Yes. Not only for, a, unlike a subcontractor that needs to make a part to a drawing, yeah. we then need to make a part to our drawing, but we also need to be able to prove independently that we've measured that That part. you've measured it. Yeah. Again, it's all traceability. It's it what is, everyone yeah. wants now. Yeah. Right, two machines, two big star investments. So we've got the SX38 and you went on to buy the SR32 J yeah. type 2, uh, yeah. J the three, is make it, sure you say three. three. Dan's three. warned me. Yeah. He said that is over there from <laughs> Star <laughs> as well. So well, I'll He even a... checked the signs before I had them printed. <laughs> <laughs> I had a slap on the wrist. Yeah. Okay, so um, this investment, there's another part as well, as you said about autonomy. This yeah. is from J&R. Yep. Um, this actually goes up and down with parts, cap uh, parts yep. catcher because you're yep. doing um, you, you do it, you're not quite yet at night, side. No, so um, in the next couple of weeks, we'll be running the machines longer. Um, yeah. The other thing for us that's really important, you saw in the first image, was the surface finish quality. Yes. Now, actually, the outside surface finish is non-functional, but it, for a brand that is owning its quality. So, again, yeah. making sure the parts are not banging themselves into boxes. No. Again, we've got this. Again, collects the oil, returns it in the same way all the rest of the equipment returns the oil to the machine. So, yeah, it just it works it, for us. And Star's helped you out with that as yeah, well, I agree. haven't they? Yeah. Um, okay, so machines. Oh, we're going to get stuck down here. We are. Uh, we're at a dead end here. Yeah. Is there any room? We'll squeeze through that gap. Um, so, tell me a little bit more about your relationship here with Star before um, you know we talk about this other part that I know you want to show us. Yeah. So, as a, yeah, so we we've been obviously engaged since kind of April when I first rung Star to get some help. Um, Dan doesn't live too far away from us, so has always been has always been in contact with us, close contact with us. Yeah. He, both Dan and John, as they are there, have been working very heavily together. The feedback process between John ringing Star, whether it's application support, whether it's parts, you know, all the characters that are in Star yeah, yeah, yeah. have just been so amazing at bringing us on board as a, as a because company. Because as a company. Know, yeah. You had no idea, like no. you literally yeah. went into a meeting in Warwick, yeah. you realised that actually subcontract work is just not for you, you had no. loads of like problems with yeah. it all, and so you were venting for about an hour on the yeah. phone to yeah. the guys at Start, and we're like, I, know, I just need some help, and they've directed you, and mm. there you are now today. Yeah. And I think 
I think bringing is the stability of the production. You know, yes, there's there's obviously some incredible machine shops out there that do some amazing work, but the the issue is is what I found the business doing was half its time was being spent building, selling products, and shipping them over the world, and yeah. working with its with the partners. Half the business was a goods in quality department that yeah. was checking a hundred percent of what was coming in because they had to. Mm. And we would have dirty parts come in, we'd have wrong tolerances, we'd have, and you, you, you weren't talking microns, yeah? In no. some cases, you were talking millimeters differences. Um, I just had enough. No, well, <laughs> there you go. Do, tell me the story it, so. as well as we go yeah. around here, as we squeeze through. Um, you bought these without, like, uh, uh, somebody to so use standing, them, did you? Yeah. So you're standing under, obviously, the new mezzanine that was put in recently, and uh, that wasn't Great. here before we bought the machines. Uh, this whole workshop, the infrastructure, all the civil engineering work that's gone into it, none of this was here. It's and actually story. none of it was here when John started with us, who obviously runs the workshop now. So yeah. he kind of understood my craziness because yeah. I had an interview here about a machine shop, about a job running machines <laughs> without, without a single machine. <laughs> and I walked out machine. here and there was a couple of benches and a racket, of, it was full height racking with some yeah. products on it. And he was like, right, so where's it going? And I was like, well, it goes here, here, this is how it's going to look like. And to be fair... He must have thought you were bonkers. Yeah, I think he still does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, do you think fair, he is? Cause <laughs> but he, right. he trusted in the vision. And, yeah. and I, as I said to John, uh, as I said, uh, you know, in the previous conversations about stuff, it's about trust. I trust John implicitly to do the things he needs yeah. to do. Our job is to support John in working his way through 70 parts he's got to make internally. Yeah. Um, and that's been a great journey so far. And We're you're gonna providing, have challenges. But, yeah, well, of course, yeah. as everyone does, but you're providing yeah. the goods for them to do that. You're yeah. also investing in cameras that sit into, inside the machines yeah. uh, with the screens. Um, I know you know more on this. Rotoclear cameras. Rotoclear cameras. I there we go. Now. Thank yeah. you. Yes. Um, investing in those so you can film inside the machines. So John basically can sit next door instead of having to come in every few minutes and check. Um, yeah. Well, what's the reason behind this? I think it's twofold. One, it's good for John because John has got a multi role here, you know, unlike a traditional shop you'd have a number of people on the, on the machine yeah. floor, then you'd have a quality department, then you'd have someone laser etching. And what we're trying to do is get involvement from the people that work here in all areas of what's going on, because mm -hmm. it's great to upskill people. Yeah. Um, and, but also from my side, I hate the way we view engineering as this like dark, dingy, sometimes place that not a lot of people know about. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think, I think for me by a, be, by being able to successfully market what we do and have some amazing footage from inside the machines, yeah. around the machines. You know, all this area has been camered up, so you know not only can we watch it, but also we can show prospective customers the machine shop yeah. in real time. Ed, I think you're trying to make yeah. engineering sexy. Yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah. I think you pull that <laughs> Probably. Up. That sense of yeah. at the moment. <laughs> I think no. that, I genuinely do yeah. though, because you're bringing it, you know, gone are the days where it's just yeah. old school, everything. Yeah. Now you're going, all right, let's move it. It well, takes I, investment. I, don't, I, said to, I said to the guys, um, uh, latter part of last year, I said, actually, I'm so glad we, we didn't make the journey till this point because yeah. you weren't the SX38 didn't exist. Yeah. The yeah. Type 3 didn't exist. And the technology from things like Solid Cam, Star, all of the different partners we're working mm -hmm. with, Bowers, Bowers didn't have the Batty Vision system. So if mm -hmm. we'd have invested four or five years ago, we'd have actually, well, I probably would have wound me up because yeah, I'd have yeah, gone, yeah. Well, oh, I want the new one. Yeah. But actually the new one is, is the autonomy with the machines. Yeah. And obviously like everything, everything gets better as time goes on. It just so evolves. Everything in this building is brand new yeah. the latest we've got and it's making sure that we're not just buying stuff just for the sake of it no. but it's it's what process does it fit yeah we we are a 3d solidworks style company in the way we design and every part of everything that goes through it's supports brilliant. that process it is so, yeah. right okay um we've not lot got, got long no, on left no. on this so tell me I'll the last couple talk. of things all right yeah. quick talk so, go on uh, talk about innovation Ooh. so again quality is a massive part of what we do um We've got a helium leak detection machine that we just walked past, and that just there, casually walked past that, casually you know, past, yeah. I guess. Um, that casually highly walked technical past. technical machine. And basically, what that does is check the final product for leaks before right. it leaks before it leaves the building. Yeah. Um, and again, that's something a lot of our manufacturer, a lot of our competition don't do. Yeah. And for us, again, gives that final quality stamp yeah. to say the product's good. Yeah. So we're walking Confidence. through the filling area now, so you can see obviously what we put in the cylinders that go into systems, various different areas. Um, selection of like nitrogen and helium that 
obviously is detected at that leak station where yeah. we fill another fill-in station here. So we kind of keep it very lean, the manufacturing. We don't carry a lot of stock um, on the shelves. We build to order. So it enables us to be a bit more agile in stock. John can produce off the machines in quite a relatively short period. Yeah. You, what you've, does he need? Yeah. yeah, well, the thing is with having all of this, you've got yeah. control over your product. And if you want to perfect it, you want it to evolve. Yeah. You can yeah. do that here. I and mean, you've not got these, you know, this six to eight week to 12 week lead time when we changed something or wanted something to be developed or it was a, a bespoke product for a customer. Watching the guys design it, run it through solid cam, simulate the machining before it goes on the machine, mm. machine it and they've got it in their hand an hour to an hour and a half later mm. is very, very special for yeah, us. You know, it it's, really it's, is. it's a complete transformation for us. So I'm um, absolutely made very excited where we're going to go. I know the machines will be very, very busy. I'm sure there'll be conversations with Dan in the future about more yeah. machines. But for us at the moment, I think it's a, a the be, it, for me personally. What's your goal? Um, tough one, really, because you could give all the, yes, we want to be the biggest company in the world and everything else. I think I want to be the best at what we do. Yeah. yeah? I don't, uh, success measured by pounds and, and dollars yeah. is one thing. But for us, we're very, we've got a deep pride in a lot of staff that work here about where the journey's come from, especially mm -hmm. in the last seven years. And I think for us, our passion for what we do is what carries and motivates everyone in the business to move forward. And I think this has given everyone in engineering, production, sales, all the way around the business, a complete uh, revamping excitement for where yeah. the business is. Going. I really think so. so. It's yeah. a great company. Really, really good. Yeah. Um, thank you no, thank for you. Um, letting yeah. us interview Reactant Fire Suppression. Ed, he's a character. Uh, you definitely are. You keep saying that. You do because there's a few expletives. <laughs> I'm really proud of you that hasn't come out yeah. of your mouth. When I walked in, there was yeah. about a hundred expletives come out. I never swear. You've reined it in, you never, never. swear. Never. Anyone who knows him, can you write a comment <laughs> at the bottom and go, he never I've swears, got, I really? I brief today about being professional, so I'm being very professional. We've classed ourselves as the most <laughs> unprofessional professional. And I'm stealing that. Yeah, you're stealing that one. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching this week's Swarf and Chip, sponsored by Interco. And uh, we'll see you uh, next week. Thanks for the interview. Thank you.